Anaerobic digestion is a controlled biological process using biodegradable materials such as food waste and animal manures to produce renewable energy, that's biogas, electricity and heat, and valuable digestate that can be used by farmers. There are over a hundred anaerobic digesters operational in the UK, with many more in planning or being built. Today we're at our Wallingford AD plant. Behind me you can see um, some of the digestion tanks and our gas engines. So food waste comes in through the reception building where it's processed and prepared and then enters the digestion tanks where bacteria start to break down the food waste in the absence of oxygen, giving off methane and other, other mixtures of gases which we capture in the domed roofs. We clean it up and then we feed it through the gas engines also behind me which burn the gas um, in a standard internal combustion engine, converting it into electricity, which we feed into the national grid. And this plant produces enough electricity to feed around 4,000 houses. As well as the electricity, we are left with a whole liquid fertiliser called digestate, which we spread back to farmland as a nutritious product to grow crops. Any anaerobic digestion unit treating animal byproducts such as cooked and uncooked meat or catering waste must use a pasteurisation step in the AD process to ensure that the digestate is safe to use. Testing has shown that after pasteurisation, pathogen levels in digestate are a fraction of the levels in other organic materials used in farming such as manures and slurries. The Biofertiliser Certification Scheme is an independent quality assurance scheme providing further reassurance to digestate users. Digestate certified under the scheme is considered by the authorities to be a product, not a waste, which means there is no need to apply for an environmental permit deployment or a waste exemption. To become certified, digestates must pass strict quality controls set out in a specification published by the British Standards Institute known as BSI PASS 110. The nutrient value of digestate will depend on the materials used to feed the digester. You'll achieve better crop performance if you ask your supplier for an analysis of the batch to be supplied. Or get the digestate analysed yourself and use this information in your fertiliser planning. Typically the whole digestate has 5 kilograms per tonne of total nitrogen, of which 80% or 4 kilograms per tonne is present as readily available nitrogen. This is more potent than cattle slurry which has only 45% readily available N. Whole digestate also typically contains 0.5 kilos per tonne of phosphate, which is 50% available, and 2 kilos of potash, which is 80% available. The beauty of the digestate is it's a complete nutrient feed for the crop in one materials. You can't actually source this type of product in uh, manufactured means. It's because it comes from the AD plant here, which is based on food waste. It's uh, got a complete mix of nutrient which uh, the plants pick up very readily. This crop will change colour within probably about seven days of application and grow away very rapidly. We run with the, the zero in here now as you see coming up. It's actually 32 metres spreading width. Precision material is applied through the machine. Uh, the main benefits of spreading a digestate is to reduce the applications of fertiliser. We can apply a dressing on like the week we've got here today, which is the first dressing on this week, and then it will have subsequent with a pulled fertiliser later. So it takes one dressing away completely, but it's a complete feed for the crop. So we, we could in fact put digestate through this crop that we're in at the moment, right up to flag leaf if we required. The boom actually applies the digestate straight to the ground, so the, the little pipes on the dribble bar actually drop through the crop. So you don't get any damage in the crop, but they're flexible enough so they actually drop the digestate on the floor so it's actually on the, on the soil so the, the nutrient can be taken up by the root. And because you're actually applying it to the ground, you're getting the losses of nitrogen through the atmosphere. So it's a, environmentally wise, it's an awful lot better to apply straight to the ground and you're not losing nutrients. Using digestate on farm is much the same as using a livestock manure or slurry. Talk through using the digestate with a facts qualified advisor and balance fertiliser use within the farm nutrient management plan. The latest version of Manor MPK is free to use and will help to calculate which of the nutrients in digestate will be available to the crop. Enter the details of the field which you will apply it to, 
the soil type and location to estimate the rainfall. Then enter application rates, method and timing of application. Manor MPK will give a summary report of crop available nutrients for the current crop and will give an estimate of the financial savings on fertiliser which can be made.